If you want to win this M24 anti-tank grenade, all you have to do is make sure you comment down below, make sure you guys leave a like on this video, and make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you follow those three steps, you'll be entered to win this anti-tank grenade in next week's video. Alright guys, we're going to start episode 44 off with telling you guys that I'm pre-recording this video on the 20th of June, so very far in advance because right now I'm actually at Brick Fiesta which is in Dallas, Texas, July 1st and 2nd. This would be, you're seeing this, let's see, on July 2nd, I believe. So right now, I'm pre-recording this. I have like two days to pre-record like 10 videos, so I didn't really have time to do too much progress on the mock. I did get in a fan mail and a couple other things that we're going to be able to talk about briefly, but this is going to be a very short episode, so the giveaway is still a thing. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment down below. You'll still be entered in to win an anti-tank grenade, and I'll still be picking a winner in this episode, so don't worry about that. But we're going to get into the fan mail. So, first off, Got a fan mail here. He sent me a smorgasbord of parts, figures, and accessories. So first of all, I want to thank you that. And it's from Sammy. He says, Dear Clunch Brexit 9, I live in Australia and uh, he loves my videos. I'm just kind of summarizing this because some people don't want me to read all of the notes. And the notes just off to the side here. Um, you inspired me to make my own creations and I love your channel and I watch it every day. So thank you so much, Sammy. Thank you for these parts. I'm already using them in the mock. I use some of your one by sixes in the buildings right there. So you're actually, your parts you sent me are actually on the mock right now, which is very cool. So once again, thank you, Sammy. And a side note to some things that I'm working on. I'm working on trying to get the armor train going because I know a lot of you guys want me to get that going and we need to get that going. And I'm also working on some vehicles. So here is the spreadsheet of all the different parts I need for the A7V German tanks. Those are the really boxy looking light bluish gray ones that the Germans used during World War I. Now I've got all these parts except for the ones that are circled here in highlighter. So I've got to go through Place a couple BrickLink orders. Hopefully, I can get these in maybe two BrickLink orders. I'd hate to pay for shipping if I had to buy, you know, like three or four orders just to get these parts. I'm going to try to find some stores that have most of these parts. Once I get all those, I can build the A7V tanks, which will be great. And then these are the parts to build Mark V tanks. I'm probably only going to build one of them. So if, let's say, I see parts for the A7V tank, I'm going to scour the store for these parts as well. And I'm trying to decide what color I should make the Mark V tanks in. Dark bluish gray would definitely be the cheapest and easiest. Dark tan is possible, but I think that's going to be too expensive and too hard to find. So I'm probably going to do dark bluish gray. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So that's kind of what I'm working on as far as vehicles go. And then I just updated Lego Digital Designer, which is a CAD software for Lego building. It's free. Just Google it. You can download it off Lego's website. Totally safe. Everybody uses it in the Lego community pretty much. And I'll be prototyping the armored train. Hopefully I'll have something to show you guys in the next couple episodes. I do have some, I did have a Lego train back in the day, probably like five years ago. So I have a bunch of these train wheels. So I'm gonna have to be playing around with that. But that's pretty much it guys. You know, very short episode. Check me out, Brick Fiesta. If you're in Dallas, Texas area, make sure you guys check me out. Even though it's probably, well actually no, since this goes up Sunday morning, if you're in the Dallas, Texas area, you can stop by this um, this afternoon. So make sure you guys do that. And uh, yeah, brickfiesta.com for more information. Let's cut to the giveaway winners right now and wrap up the video. All right, guys, we're going to be picking the winner from episode 42. You might be thinking, why aren't we picking a winner from episode 43? And that's because I'm currently out of town when you're seeing these videos. I was out of town for episode 43, and I am out of town right now where you're seeing this episode, episode 44. So we're actually picking two winners from episode 42 to make up for the difference. So definitely make sure you guys comment, subscribe, and like these videos. That way you'll have a chance to win next time. So let's do the anti-tank grenade from episode 42. Really it's 43. So let's pick the winner here. One, two, and three. Boom, Sean Ricks, where did you get that t girl from on the roof? Great mock, well guess what, Sean, you won the anti-tank grenade. Make sure you personal message me here on YouTube with your full name, full address, zip code, and I can get this out to you as soon as possible. Make sure that you message me here on YouTube. If you don't know how to do that, make sure you're on a desktop computer, log into your YouTube channel account, go to my channel, Clone Trooper X39, go to the About tab, send message, first name, 
you know address zip code all that good stuff and we can get this out to you so without further ado let's wrap up the video guys all right guys that's going to do it for this episode of the Sinai desert make sure you check out last week's episode by clicking right there make sure you guys are subscribed to the youtube channel right there and make sure you guys check out the complete playlist for all the episodes of Sinai desert right there you can re-watch any of them you'd like thanks for watching guys and hope you have a great and fantastic day